Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the Ingroup in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm doing the new arrival video for December 10, 2021. Okay, I got a couple of really big pre-orders that went up on the website this week. The first one is the follow-up to Friday Night in San Francisco, Al Di Miola. It is going to be Saturday Night in San Francisco. From Impex, one of my all-time favorite labels of all time. They have a very small amount of stuff they do, but what they do is absolutely killer. They're doing it on 33 RPM and SACD. This is essentially the following night. So I'm guessing this is just going to be unbelievable. All analog. Looks like it was sourced from the original multi, 16 track, multi track uh, tapes, compiled. Really looking forward to that. That is on the website for pre order. Friday night in San Francisco is, in, is a demo disc through and through. It's been demoed, hi fi shows, hi fi gear for decades. It really is a, you know, a top-rate recording, great guitar album. The next one is actually something that kind of caught everybody by surprise. So, you know, we haven't seen a lot of Tone Poets here recently. Well, the reason why is they are doing an Ornette Coleman Tone Poet box set. So this is going to be the very first Tone Poet box set. Six albums. It's essentially all of Ornette Coleman's Blue Note output. Uh, that is coming out January 28th, so pretty short announcement on that. So that is on the website for pre-order now, and it's really a couple dollars more than what that would be if you bought all the albums individually. I think I did the math. It comes out to maybe $12 more, and it includes the book and the box. So pretty nice. A lot of times box sets are an excuse for them to charge exorbitant amounts of money. That's not the case here for, you know, under $15 more, you're getting it as a box set package. And then they announced the next two classic series titles. Jackie McLean, Destination, a fantastic Blue Note album. And Don Cherry's Where is Brooklyn? Those come out January 21st. So most of that stuff coming out January. I didn't mention the Saturday night in San Francisco. That actually is slated to drop summer of 2022. So that one's going to be a while. But yeah, all those are available on the website for pre-order. Okay. Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers, first flight to Tokyo, the lost 1961 recording. Did an unboxing on this. You guys can see the package and presentation. Cut by Bernie Grunman, pressed at RTI. I really enjoyed this. It's not the same Rudy Van Gelder recorded Meet You at the Jazz Corner of the World from the 60s. You know, it's not to that sound level, but significantly better than, for instance, the new John Coltrane Live in Seattle that came out. This was a a good solid listen. Uh, you know, he does moaning, night in uh, Tanzania, round about midnight. A lot of great tracks on this. Really fun listen. Art Blakey, my all time favorite drummer in any genre of music. So, this kind of was a shock. I've had these on back order and I've talked about these for months. I've had this on back order as a standing restock for months. This is the Nirvana Nevermind pressed in Palace version. When they did the 30th anniversary, I was a little bit bummed out after listening to it because the 30th anniversary, although it has a dynamite cover compared to the cheap flimsy cover that's on this particular pressing, has that beautiful tip on jacket, has a seven inch single. The sound quality was nowhere near as good as this. And I actually thought that was gonna be the replacement for this. And then what happens all of a sudden, a couple, two, three weeks later, I get notification that this is shipped. So I actually cracked it open just to be on the safe side because I hate to go online here and tell you guys this is the one to get. The all analog cut by Bernie Grunman. I ship out a pile of these things and then I get bored back that they threw some other mastering in there. That is not the case. This is the all analog pressed in Germany at Palace cut by Bernie Grunman. Nirvana never mind. If you watch my shootout video, Really up there on the top title you should own, pressing variation. Also restock of the Analog Productions version of John Coltrane's A Love Supreme. This is the 33 RPM. Fantastic. Uh, it's been out of stock for probably about a year. I've got this and ballads back in stock. This is a Lady Gaga Born This Way 10th Anniversary Edition. It's a triple disc. Actually kind of strange how they did this. It's a gatefold. And there's a standard jacket in there, and it's just shrunk wrapped together. But three disc, born this way, reimagined, exclusive bonus disc featuring 
Looks like there's different versions, remixes. Yeah. The Go-Go's Greatest Hits. Billy Cobb, Zerwi, Part 2. Carrie Underwood, My Gift. This is a deluxe special edition, her Christmas album. This is some stuff that was exclusive to different websites and different uh, places around the world. And they made these available to indie stores and probably other places, but they made them available to indie stores, so I brought these in for the first time. Cream, live at the Forum, the Goodbye Tour. This said in the hype that it was actually mixed from the original Analog Master tape. Not that it's been cut analog, but at least it was sourced from proper, proper analog tapes. Susie and the Banshees, this is on clear vinyl. Roxy Music, this is on red vinyl. Flesh and Blood. Brian Ferry, now I didn't get very many of these, but I have a lot more on the way, so pretty much his whole catalog was redone, and it looks to me, this is the absolute best wording you can get when hunting for analog records. Remastered and cut, cut from the original quarter inch tapes at Abbey Road, Abbey Road Studios in London. And it looks like his whole catalog was done that way. So I've got a big restock of these on the way, but I've only got a few in right now, but I'll go through them. Uh, let's stick together. Ghost Bath Self Loather. Limited to a thousand. The Best of Eddie Money, Take Me Home Tonight on Pink Vinyl. Bad Religion, Christmas Songs, limited edition, colored vinyl, doesn't specify the color. One of the quintessential holiday albums, Ultimate Sinatra's Christmas. So pretty much uh, all the Frank Sinatra Christmas tunes. Brand new album from Neil Young, comes in a couple different configurations. First, I've got the Indie Exclusive. The Indie Exclusive essentially just includes an additional set of photos. Same black vinyl, but same price, or maybe a couple bucks more, you're getting the photographs to go with it. This is called Barn. I have not heard this yet, but the very first thing I look for when you get a new Neil Young album is, where is it sourced from? And the beautiful thing about all of Neil Young's, in Neil Young and related stuff, is he uses kind of a modern version of the Spars code, source. Mastered from the original analog tapes. So look at Neil in 2021 releasing brand new studio albums cut to analog tape. Fantastic. So that is the indie exclusive with the extra photographs. And then they did kind of this deluxe box set, which is the studio album, uh, LP, CD, Blu-ray. So this is kind of the everything package. This is numbered as well on the back here. This is number 1561. I wanted to show you, I've got a couple of Record Store Day items that were left over. This is a lot of the more popular stuff. There's not much left over from Record Store Day, but I figured I'd show this. The Billie Eilish, No Time to Die, James Bond single. I've got these. Dire Straits Encores. Got some of those left. And the alternate cover of Lana Del Rey's Chemtrails Over the Country Club. All right, Lamb Chop. I hope you're sitting down. All right, some more Brian Ferry. Another time, another place. Again, all analog, cut from the original quarter inch tapes. UB40, signing off. I'll be listening to these uh, Brian Ferries here before long when I get the restock in. I'm really curious to how these sound. Uh, the Bride Stripped Bear. This is the ultimate mixes of John Lennon's Imagine. This is the white vinyl 50th anniversary edition. These Foolish Things, another all analog. Brian Ferry. In Your Mind, same hype sticker cut from the original analog tapes. David Bowie, self-titled, mono picture disc. 
This is a clear green vinyl of Kaya Bob Marley. Aretha Franklin, her ultimate collection. Pretty much a greatest hits, but what's nice about this is it's got, this is really her more modern stuff. So this isn't kind of the classic Aretha. This is kind of that second wave of Aretha. You know, Freeway of Love, uh, Rolling in the Deep, uh, the uh, Adele cover she did. Sisters are doing it for themselves with the Eurythmics. Who's zooming who? So Jumpin' Jack Flash with uh, Keith Richards. This is kind of the, I would equate this to kind of the Greatest Hits Volume 2. Looking forward to this. This is one I will be picking up this week. This is the Indie Retail Milky Clear exclusive of Green Day's BBC Sessions. A lot of great tracks on this. Basket Case, When I Come Around, Minority. All from different, you know, 94, 96, 98, and 2001. Got a restock of the All Analog Cup by Kevin Gray. Jimmy Smith, grooving at Small's Place. Neville Staple from the Specials and Beyond. This is on black and white splatter vinyl. The Dave Clark Five, Glad All Over, featuring bits and pieces. It says remastered from the original takes, tapes, but more than likely not analog. The Muslims, F these effing fascists. This is on Problematic Punk Pink. <laughs> Anti flag, Die for the Government on a red, white, and blue. Splatter wax, kind of shows you the color there in the corner. The Alan Parsons Project, the never-ending show, live in the Netherlands. I think this was done at Ultrak, yeah. Ultrak, home of the largest record fair in the world. I was going to go this year. It's about maybe 20 minutes south of Amsterdam. It's going to go this year. Couldn't get the passport renewed in time. They end up canceling the show anyway, I believe, but I should be at the next one. Pretty solid set list, you know. I Robot, Eye in the Sky, The Raven. You know. Let's see. Limited edition double purple vinyl. Kylie Disco. Extended mixes. So this is, uh, yeah. Where's the locomotion? I keep getting all these reissues from her. I think I said in the video I didn't know who she was, and I really didn't put two and two together because the record looked like a modern artist. And truth be told, I'm not listening to the locomotion in my spare time. That's not really my shtick. But yeah, extended disco mixes. But the cover sure looks cool, just like the last one. Curtis Harding, if words were flowers. Limited edition colored vinyl and anti album. Anti is the label. Blood Red Hourglass, Your Highness. Beautiful Garbage from Garbage, remastered from the original tapes on double heavyweight black vinyl. All that remains from craft, the fall of ideas. Jose Feliciano, all I can ever think of when I see Jose Feliciano is, let me fire, let me fire, let me fire. <laughs> all right. Behind this guitar, deluxe, includes bonus songs, Feliz Navidad, Eagle When She Flies, and I'm America. If you're not familiar with Jose Feliciano, go listen to his cover of The Doors Light My Fire. Okay, so the new album by Common. This is the indie exclusive of A Beautiful Revolution Part 2. Kind of neat. They put right on the hype sticker there, first pressing vinyl. And I also got CDs. I don't typically keep get CDs in the store unless there's something cool. 
uh, the CD, every one of them is limited edition autographed artwork. So probably a uh, like an insert or something stuffed in there that is autographed. So that's kind of cool. 14 bucks don't cost much if you're a common fan and there you go. I wish they did these for vinyl with the Taylor Swift, the Billie Eilish, Common. Phineas had one here recently. I think I still have the Phineas, uh, Billie Eilish's brother. But uh, they're always CDs. I know they're easier to handle, but God, I'd be happy if they just took the CD size insert and stuffed it in the record. Ah, Freddy's Nightmares, the series. I think we're a little late on this. I'm not really sure why this is coming out now. I'm guessing supply chain issues. But uh, yeah, just in time for Christmas, guys. Def Leppard, On Through the Night. I feel like this is old. I don't know why this is in the new arrival pile, but it's new for us. All right. Stevie Wonder, Someday at Christmas. All right, Casey Musgraves. This came out in three different versions. I guess there's three different records you can get, and each one of those SKUs has its own random color. I showed you two of them last week. This is the missing one. Came late. Let's see, Disney's Dumbo picture disc for the kitties for Christmas. All right, Claptone Closer. On a side note, guys, I did get the uh, Bill Withers MoFi Greatest Hits. Sent out an email blast, put them on Instagram. They're sold out. I got Carol King's Tapestry and the Eagles self-titled One Step. All that was put online a couple days ago and sold out. If you are not on our email list, you can do it on the bottom of the website for uh, main page. You'll get on the notification list. Or, you know, follow us on Instagram or Facebook. That's kind of where I alerted everybody to that. Aeon Station Observatory. All right, we got Dream Theater. When a when dream and day reunite live. Moses Sumney. Live from Black Lakaya. Uh, live renditions from critically acclaimed albums. Okay. There you go. They have live renditions from critically acclaimed albums on there. The Dark Knight. Soundtrack from Music on Vinyl by Hans Zimmer. All right. Black Label Society. Doom Crew Inc. Got a huge slew of reissues by uh, Black Label Society. Most of them were last week. We have John Denver, his ultimate collection. This is the limited edition colored vinyl version. I feel like I had a non-colored vinyl version a couple weeks I showed you. And Reba McIntyre. Let's see, a reimagined collection, collection of Reba's most iconic songs, revived mixes, Revisited. What do we got there? We look like we got a three disc set. All right, I know absolutely nothing about Reba McIntyre, but that is what is in this box. Really nice, well done box. You know, kind of a spot gloss cover, and it has this like textured foil outer box. Pretty cool. All right, guys, that is it for this week's new arrival. Definitely check out the Tome, you know, you jazz guys. Check out that Tone Poet box set. Get an order in on that. Hopefully they take care of us on the fill count. Uh, I've already seen pictures floating around on that, you know, out there on the interwebs of pallets of these things. So, yeah, hopefully there's a lot of those to go, to around, go around. But, uh, yeah, check us out online, www.theingroove.com. Until next time.